Hello, hello everyone, the stream is starting. My mic is not in the right place. Is that right? I think it's right. Hi! How are you all today? Hopefully doing good. Running a bit late! I had a uh, unexpected nap. <laughs> Oh, they put me behind. Oh, oh, I got a bunch of work done earlier today. Couldn't avoid the comfiness of my somewhat beanbag. I say somewhat because it was a perp like a like a perfectly good full beanbag, and then the. Uh, matter inside got damaged and suddenly i have problems <laughs> and had to get rid of it all which is sad okay now i do have some plans for today I have been meaning to make emotes for the channel for quite a while, but I haven't just because of a lack of time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was, I was going to clarify, but no, it's, it's literally just I've been busy. So my solution to that is that y'all are going to have an art stream today. I do... Or everyone runs away. I have been like I I am intending to play Supermarket Simulator after this, but I want to put a little bit of uh, time into emotes here because I think that would be a fun way to spend this evening. And yeah, mainly that. <laughs> I've been giving you a lot of Supermarket Simulator, so I want to uh, try some more stuff. We'll see if I can figure out exactly how to do this. Oh, not like that. That's definitely better. Yes, there will be stuff. And things. Scary, isn't it? How did I end up with two separate chats on screen? Whatever. That is a... Uh, another day cat problem. Let's see, can I get this to work properly? Maybe, maybe if it decides it wants to listen to me. There, I think that'll work. Oh. Hmm. Are you actually paying it? Okay. Wow, my uh, OBS is very unhappy with me trying to uh, set up multiple things. I forgot that I have to, like, move things around if I want to do art, too. There we go. That 
kind of works. Illustrator. No. Why are you not? Okay. Okay. I think I figured out what's going on. Cool. Oh. Okay. Let's see. I'm not actually familiar with, uh... Oh, what are they called? The, uh... The specifications for Twitch emotes. Twitch emote specifications. Okay. Oh, wow. They're smaller than I thought. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I need to start. I need to make these small. Start them small, probably. Twenty-eight by twenty-eight, fifty-six by fifty-six, one twelve by one twelve. Okay. Put that number aside. So, I have a few different uh, things that I'm imagining doing. Can I make a, is there a notepad I can just open? Via... Oh, that works. Okay, cool. That's not that's not what I expected, but swapping between windows is harder than doing this, so I'm just going to do it this way. So, for emotes, I am hoping, mainly, is I want to make a kitty treat so that... You can give kitty kitty treats whenever you think something's being done well. Either for me, either I'm doing something well, or uh, one of the community is doing something well, or you have another streamer who is also a cat girl. I want a puppy treat because there's many puppy boys out there and puppy girls. We can very much send treats to, and I think these will be the free ones here. And now for the sub M toes. I want to make a lizard gang emote from the Dead Rising 2 series because lizard gang for life is wonderful. Don't think I have any other emote ideas currently. I am open to suggestions, but that's also fine. Oh yeah, I was thinking of doing a um I don't even know how, how I would do this, but basically, like, cat face marshmallow, which is exactly what it sounds like, just like a marshmallow with a cat face on it. It's because it sounds cute. That's an idea, but uh, these three are the ones that I care the most about. So, that's an idea. So the plan for the kitty treat is, how can I best describe this? Um... Okay. Uh... Will this come up? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that actually did. So, <laughs> I've been thinking for Boku, Boku no Hero Academia. They have like this little, um, bit like fish shaped treat that uh, was part of a couple episodes in like one of the earlier training arcs. And uh, that's what's in my brain as an idea for uh, what I want the kitty treat to look like. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different than that. Because this is 
probably copyrighted in some way. But, um... Fish-shaped cat treat. And then the puppy treat is going to be very basic. Bone-shaped dog treat. You know. And then... For the lizard gang mask, I want lizard gang mask from side. Just on a slight angle. So we're going to have to actually look at the footage a little bit to find a appropriate lizard gang mask. Okay, so... First step for any graphic designer, look up vectors. Because why design something from scratch when you can borrow what other people have created and and uh, iterate upon it to make something for yourself? Okay, Vecteasy. One of my favorite vector sites. What are we going to come up with? Fortunately, I'm going to have to go with the free stuff, because I don't have a Vecteasy subscription anymore. I want to get uh, another one when I can, though. When I start using it, like, relatively often, I will. Okay, so these ones are all, like, paid ones, but uh, you can kind of see right... Uh... Nope, fuck off. Don't come back. Where'd it go? Eh? Eh? Okay. Ish shaped cookie? Ooh. Oh, okay, so this actually shows kind of what I would be looking for. Ideally, I don't want to use something that someone has created wholesale. Like, I want a base, and then I can take the base and do something with it myself. Because it uh, feels bleh to just, like, take something wholesale. Like, this on its own would be perfect. But I'm not going to just pick something. I want the basic fish shape, and then I'm going to make my own style upon it. So I just need uh, a very, very simple. Yeah, some of them definitely do, but I'm not just going to pick. I'm not just going to pick uh, a design off of here. I want to like. I'm using so I'm use the site for create like a basis for most of the stuff that I do. Oh, the other option. Um. Other option. Hold on a second. I have to uh, enter some information here. The other option is to use Adobe Firefly to make a base, because I just need a shape, basically. Gotta sign in. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. That, close that. Yes, yes, I know what all this is. You don't need to 
You don't need to harass me. Adobe is like, but you could give me more money. And I'm like, no. I already give you like 90 fucking dollars a month. I used to, I used to have a student plan, which was 45, but fortunately I don't have that anymore. No idea how often I consider canceling it just because of the fact that it is so fucking expensive. But also, I can't do anything if I cancel it. Like, I can't edit videos. I can't modify pictures. I can't create images of any sort. I can't typeset things. Like, like I basically lose most of the functionality I use my computer for, besides gaming. Okay, here's Adobe Firefly. Okay. Fish shaped cookie for cats. Okay. Yes, yes, no, I, I know how Adobe Firefly works. I've used this before. Hmm. I feel like I want it to be facing right. Transparent background. Facing right. Let's try that. Um. <laughs> oh no. It's like, you want a fish shaped cookie made of cat? No, I don't want a fish-shaped cookie made of cat. Okay, can I have something like this, please? Generate similar. There we go. This is actually perfect. Okay, now. We are going to swap over. Unfortunately, I did not see your message fast enough, Ron, so I didn't actually see, look at which thing you were looking at. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I need to trace this now. Would I be better to trace this in Photoshop? Maybe. Maybe. Depends whether I want to trace it or... Cut it out. I mean, I'd want to trace it, because that's really what this is. There we go. 
it I know it looks really jagged, but don't worry, we'll be fixing that in a second. Also, I do not want a stroke around it. Please and thank you. Okay, let's make this a bit easier on the eyes. With gray for now. Okay. Linked fish. How do you lock stuff in Adobe again? Or in, in... Illustrator. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Curvature tool. Hold on. That. Herp. Oh, I forgot to add the uh, mouth. In it. Actually, let's do. Yeah, nine. Uh, eighty percent. I'll make it easier to trace. Okay. Right, bring this back in a bit. Cool, cool. Rip that in. Mine is a bit too sharp still. That's because this is out too far. I mean, it doesn't need to be exact. Okay, and now... The best way to curve out in a point is to put points on either side and get rid of the original. I can just do this. Go. How much can I actually do for a mouth here without it distorting the actual bit? Okay, I need a new point. I can handle the curvature there. Kissable fish lips. We will make the stupid sexy fish. Now that I have this. Okay, that's fine. When, uh... My boyfriend and I were doing a, uh, we've been doing just, like, a Pokemon Nuzlocke, just in our free time, and, uh, I had got a Finneon that was really kind of carrying me for a while, and one of the abilities I was using the most on it was I was using Charm, because Charm is really good in Platinum. Or at least, it was good enough that it was keeping me alive in a bunch of scenarios. So it kind of became the stupid sexy fish. Based on, like, stupid sexy Flanders from, uh, Simpsons. Stupid sexy Flanders. What's here? Okay, so this is just a curve as well. Okay, point over there so we can remove this one to get rid of the hard edge. Okay, want to get rid of that handle and pull this handle out. Not too far because we don't want it to 
warp down here. We're going to check the handles up here and pull this one out too so we can get more of a rounded edge without breaking this up too much, without distorting it. Then, hopefully, we can draw a point there. And pull it up so that we can have a curve. The only issue is that this point is a bit far out and it's now in danger of of deforming. Because if I just select away from it, like there's kind of a weird ripple here. Which is caused by this not being pulled out enough to match the other side. There we go. Every time I do art, I remember how much I miss doing art. Okay, we want our curve to be closer to this. I'm gonna get rid of that anchor. Now the anchors on this side are gonna be a bit off. It's supposed to be there. This one. How do I make this not break? Okay, that's it's fine the way it is. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this anchor point so that the hand I can curve the handles in the wood direction I want. There we go. Oh, it's still deformed a bit. If you can't see what I'm talking about, don't worry. Most of the things that I'm obsess obsessing over are, like, really minor. It's just that I care about a lot of very minor things. I have a designer's eye. I can see... I can see exactly what's wrong, and I'm like, uh... <laughs> I have to do something about it. It's gonna drive me crazy. Also, I don't have to be exact to the original design either, and I need to keep that in mind. It's better, it's more important, because, like, the original design isn't going to exist soon. Or at least not with this. The original design is just a placeholder to get a good concept of what it's supposed to look like. You want to bend this over here now. Okay, get rid of that handle. I want to keep that the way it is. I want to bend this one up. Start the rounded edge. Now, it tends... The curve here tends to break... Where does it... Div where does it go away from the edge? The fish kind of stops here. So, I'm going to put a point here. I'm going to get rid of this point. So that I can do that. Make a new curve. Put a point down there. Okay, how do I want to do this? So, I need... Uh, I need enough points that... I can have an upward and downward curve, if that makes any sense to anyone. Because this, this handle here needs to bring this curve downwards. And then the corresponding handle on the other side over here needs to bring it upwards curve, basically the opposite. And they need to line up with each other. So that it doesn't go in a weird direction suddenly. But it doesn't go like that. Okay. This point's been fine here. But I will move it now. I 
mean, it's only going to be a placeholder because it's not going to last much longer. I'm lucky I'll be able to do this. The more... Or the less points that you have the bet in a piece, the better. Because generally, the way that points work is every point is a jagged edge, so to speak. And I'm moving the anchors around so that... Well, each point is an anchor. I'm moving the handles around on each anchor so that I can make the connecting area rounded rather than it being an absolute mess but every extra point that i have is more area that i have to round okay i'm gonna put a point there and i can get rid of both of these now generally if i can avoid it i want to make sure that I have enough points, not any more than I absolutely need. That's supposed to go there. You are going to deform, aren't you? Yeah, you're deforming. Uh, that is a bit annoying. Problem is that it has like overreaching effects. But I don't know if that matters. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, wait. Right, layers are layers are groups in Illustrator. Okay. Trying to make a background. Everyone loves background. Two... I'm going to make you into black. Make it easier to see you. Okay, so we have a fish. This is like one of my favorite things to use AI art for specifically. Is people argue a lot about like, oh, is AI art good for artists? Well, like anything, any tool can be good or bad depending on how you use it. And something that I am trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that when I use it, I use it mainly for tracing. And I use it to assist things that I already do. That's not mirrored. It's not mirrored in the slightest. That needs to go down there handle up a bit and drag this anchor in uh, okay I'm gonna move you over I'm gonna grab both of these anchors and move them together make it kind of kind of similar Okay, and second. Go. Okay, how are we going to color this now? So, the original is orange. I don't think I want orange. I obviously don't want gray either. I want it to look like an actual fish, because when we do this... Okay, this is 512, so 51 would be half the size. Or no, 51 would be one-tenth the size. So it's going to be that size when we do this. At most. 
smallest we're going to see it at is 5%, like that. Okay. Well, if that's the case, there's no point having a mouth. Because it's... <laughs> there's no point. We just need to give it a snoot. Out to curve it. Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. Okay. Okay. What does a rainbow trout look like? Give me an idea. So it looks like their main, the main part of it that's rain, like, like, it looks like the, the whole fish is more or less chromatic, but it looks mainly like there's a strip that makes it what it is. Capture cursor. Work? Yeah, there you go. Looks like there's mainly a strip right here that's making it the way that it is. Okay. So, that's the case. What we're probably going to want to do is make ellipses. The easiest way to do this. Rotate it a bit, because I think that'll be more accurate life. Not that much, maybe, though. Let's try this. Okay, so I'm going to fill this with pink. Okay, that's magenta. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, I'd like you to be more red, though. Okay. Has to be 40. Okay, for the actual fish, though, I'll revisit that in a second. So the fish, the fishes, <laughs> oh my gosh, the fish that uh, we're seeing are mainly silvery. Illustrator does gradients, right? Yes, Illustrator definitely. Okay, 90 degree gradient, please. Nope. But again, negative 90 degree gradient. Thank you. I mean, I can just push the shit, uh, shit around, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, want less of a... Wait. I noticed that the gray seemed to stop near the bottom middle, actually, and it seemed to lighten up a bit further to the bottom. So what we're going to do... We're going to start gray out here. It's a reasonable. We can use 179 for now. And go to 112. Wait, what? There. There. One tw wait, no, 128. And 153 for the bottom part there. Yeah, that's way, way too strong a color. Okay, let's try this again. 
Wait, I didn't... What am I doing? There we go. It's not screaming fish to me yet. Probably because it's missing, it's still missing having an eye. Okay, how do compound paths work again? Be an eye about here, I think. No, not a gradient eye. Make it black for now. Okay. Okay, we need bigger than that. It's way too small. 11 pixels. So double it? No, probably not double it. Uh, 18. Try 18. And. Nope. Okay, yeah, we'll constrain so that they both move at this height and width change to time. Okay, we need to look at it this size. That does not look good. <laughs> hey, I think this actually might be too big. Okay, so it's constrained, so it'll it'll chain. Actually, I can just whatever. Oh. I want to be kind of similar lengths from the mouth to the fin hole. Fin hole. Okay, and also it is too it's not big enough. Or Translucent? It's not translucent enough. Yes, way, way, way not translucent enough. Because it's only a highlight. It doesn't need to be notable. Okay, so this is the minimum size for it. So, like, it's just barely showing up, which is ideal. But it still doesn't look fishy. Well, okay, like, it looks fishy up close, but it doesn't look fishy when we're 5%, which is not good. Maybe my mistake is that I keep trying to go gray rather than blue-gray. Here's what I'm gonna do. Make everything blue. Start with. Out of game. I'm not actually familiar with what all that does mean, but okay. I mean, I do want it to main. I do want to maintain it being. Uh, nope, not that. I do want it to make the most sense as a web asset. It needs to. Uh, it needs to be the right colors. Otherwise, it's going to look wrong. Which is why it's still in the RGB spectrum and not in the CMY case. Okay. How do you how do you darken things in the RGB spectrum? I'm not actually familiar with that. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. One, three, four, five. I think that works. Okay. I'm going to do this the easy way, actually. I'm going to set up all the colors to be about this. So if I want, I need to move these numbers up, I believe. I want to be lighter. So can I move? I guess I can move them uniformly. So 70, 120, and 170. 
Or is that actually the same color? I don't I'm actually that, that familiar with how this works. Okay, I'm going to add uh, 50. Because I can, I can only go up so high. Okay, so let's a paler blue now. If I turn down the opacity... No, okay, that's the main shape opacity. That's not the uh, gradient opacity over the base, base color. Because this isn't a gradient overlay from Photoshop... This is a gradient fill from Illustrator, right. Don't know what that means? That's okay. Okay. We're going to move the color over here now. Now, this one is going to be darker. It'll be darker than the top, but not darker than the middle. So I'm going to just drop it by 20 in each section. Very blue. I mean, that's not bad from this distance, especially. I do See, the thing is, what I want, <clears throat> I wish what I could be doing is, oh, okay, hold on a second. I just realized I forgot to change the opacity. Okay, so this is actually what it's going to look like. Okay, so this is close. You know what? I'll just do 5% properly. That's the smallest size it's going to be. This is the medium size. And this is the large size. Okay, so the magenta doesn't work anymore for, the, for what we're doing. Or at least it doesn't work at that transparency. Do 20. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Rather than going pink, I'm going to do a gray highlight because that's closer to what we'd be expecting to see from an actual fish. Now, should I lighten the highlight or increase the opacity is the next question. I'm trying to think where, 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 where would you see this sheen mainly? In the actual pictures, the sheen... Uh... Oh, I got this slightly wrong. The, the center's lightest. But if you're looking at a shape that has light directly pointed at it, and it curves away as a 3D object, the edges would be the darkest point. So I think I'm going to keep it like that for now, because that's not, that's not the shadow, that's the coloring of the actual fish. Hmm. I might need to actually throw away having the, uh... Oh, one. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Cool. Let's see what I'm doing again. 
Okay. So everything that we're seeing has the gradient flipped, more or less. Which is why this doesn't make sense. So, because, like, if we were to do it like the actual Rainbow Trout, what we'd actually be wanting to do is move that down even further. No, I need... Give me, uh, other... What are these things called, anyway? Selection, direct selection. I need to select. Not direct selection. Because it needs to, it's like highlights it. But it's still too far away. Too far away from the gradient now. He changed unrotating, it was a bad plan. Should I be rot so should I be rotating it from this point over here? All the way up to the nose, maybe? So I'm gonna point it that way. Illustrator, do you do guides? I can't remember. You kind of do, if I remember correctly. Make guides? Oh no, don't make don't make my shape into a guide. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Oh, actually, if it's that simple. Oh, no, I don't want you to move around too much. Okay, I want you to be... Use this as a guideline. Therefore, we're going to go white instead of black. Since everything else is black. Okay, so we're going to want to go from the snoot to the boot. That'll be roughly the line we're trying to keep. Okay, we need selection, not direct selection. evenly spaced i think no i want it weighted towards the tail hard to say also might do better if it's a thinner line oh, away served your purpose okay this again five percent okay i looks a bit far up ten percent Start to see the highlight now. 20%. Highlight's still there. Eye's still pretty small. New 21. I'm going to move it over a bit. Good. I mean, three pixels isn't going to make much of a difference. I'll do 24. Okay, it's the skin. Five. Okay. Still an eyeball. Except for now it's distorted for some reason. Do I need to change the size of it, maybe, so that it doesn't distort like that? Interesting. So it changed. So the way that it scale downscales is it picks what is the most likely version of what you're looking at for it to be at that size, which is why the eye looks square right now rather than round. At twenty percent, it's going to look perfect, but I don't think we're going to see twenty percent very often. I think mainly we're going to be seeing five percent for when it's in chat. So, we need to change the size of the eyeball until it's square at, or until it's round at this size. Okay, it's triangular now. Triangle. Triangle. How 
fucking rectangular now. Where? Let's, uh, I'm trying to find a good... Actually, wouldn't I want a divisible... I don't know if this makes sense, but I think I want a divisible by four number. No, because that still... Still makes it fairly rough. It's still... I still don't think it's far enough in, either. That's a little bit nicer. Yeah, I like that. I didn't even process it. That's actually... That's actually round now. Why is it round? Is it because I'm at 6%? Or 5 yeah, uh, that's kind of round. That's nice. Oh, it's poor fins are struggling to be round. Cool, I want to try this now. Okay. Now that that is dealt with... Turn off the... Oh, fuck. Never mind. No, oh, you do actually need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I completely forgot how I'm supposed to do this. I still haven't made the black into a... Uh... I still haven't made the black into a punch-out. So, like, you can see through the fish there. So maybe I don't need to. Maybe that's not what I need out of this. Okay. Fill. Ooh, I still have this, the color saved. Do I want... What do I want? Do I want it white? Not bad white. Yeah, actually that looks really good. That's color. I like that. Oh, he's really cute. Mate, I mate, I might not have enough. My gradient might not be ideal. I'm not sure. I'm gonna angle it a bit to the left. It is an angular object creature thing. But that doesn't... Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I now actually can export this as is. I don't need the line anymore. Rid of that. What did I just do? No. Oh, right, because I was deleting layer, okay. Gotta love swapping back and forth between Illustrator and fucking Photoshop and the the <laughs> and the methodologies working in both products to be different. You know. Things that everyone loves. Okay, so we need to change some stuff around now. The canvas currently is the full size. I don't want it to be. Or 
I guess art board in that. Yep. The minimum size. The only slight problem with that is that it has to be square, I assume. Yes, an easy perfectly square. Okay. So. Height 454. Four. I do that, I can change the artboard size a bit. A bit smaller. No, don't do this to me. You know very well that I want to go out here. Not when you actually I need to go a little farther. Okay, that's fine. I Make it a bit smaller. Okay, good, good. Gotta make it as rounded as or as square as possible without making it a non square thing. Okay. Next order of business. I am going to actually properly export this now. No, I'm not. One of these days, I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. Don't worry. The main problem is that the whole thing is too large still. I need to scale it. And I need to bring it within the scale of... what they're asking of me. So... 112 by 112 is the minimum. Or, sorry, the maximum size. So that would be... I double that, that's two, 224. If I double that, that's 448. So if I bring this in, 48 there. Change the artboard size again. Do the same size. No, I need it to be the same size. I need extra pixel here. Yep, good, good. 48. And 48. The reason why I'm doing this... ...is that this number is evenly divisible. So I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna export this at... ...one quarter size, one eighth size, and one sixteenth size. Quarter, one eighth, and one sixteenth. Okay, now for the annoying part. I have to convert fractions into decimals. Yay! Okay, 0 0.25 for one, one quarter. 0 0.125. One eighth. And one divided by 16. 0 0.0625. Sixteenth. Okay. Well, I keep switching scenes, but I have to export this... I have to export this with, and it's going to open in for other information about me that I have to close, so. I need to do this. Okay. Oh, it might not be happy with me. 
We're gonna find out in a second whether it'll accept these sizes or not. These sizes might be too small for it. I think these sizes are, like, I think I need to use a third decimal point that I'm not able to. Let's see. Nope, they came out perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. <laughs> cool. Okay, so next order of business. I'm going to give you the fish back. There you go. You can fish to your heart's content. While I open up Twitch. Let's see, how do we add emotes? Your rewards, emotes, standard emotes. Oh, <laughs> I can get it to auto resize for me. Uh. Oh, it's bullshit. Okay, I didn't realize that. <laughs> so what I read before was like, oh, it has to be, it has to be these sizes. Well, it'll auto resize for you. Also. You can have it be giant, and it will just auto-resize itself as well. But I'm going to assume that the way that it's going to resize is not going to be as good as the way that I did it manually in Illustrator. Just because Illustrator is going to put more power into it than, uh, than Twitch's servers will. I'm going to manually do this. They're going to want to preserve resources where they can. So I think my versions will be higher quality, maybe, if I understand how this works. Okay. Enter remote name. Kitty treat. Remote attribution. Don't need it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm the I'm the creator, so. Oh no! We have to wait for approval. Aww. Aww. I was hoping to use them today. <laughs> Well, we did the kitty treat first. That is the one that I care the most about. And now it's pending approval, so you should have that emote to use by next stream, if not by the end of this stream. Now, next order of business. Gonna open up Photoshop. Gonna open up Photoshop. Gonna open Photoshop. Until then, I look at pictures of fish. Okay. Sizes! We will go 224 by 224 because of the sizes of emotes. Great. Okay. Background. Background color, background color, background color. Um I guess I can just use a black background for now, it's fine. Okay. Boop boo da boop. Boo da boo.
Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to find a lizard gang to mow. Or we're going to find a picture of lizard gang. Because that's the one I care about the second most, is the Lizard Gang remote. So, Dead Rising 2. Lizard Icon. Oh! Okay, maybe this will be easier than I thought. I might not actually have to cut it out myself. Copy image. Oh, that is a big lizard. Okay, Mr. Lizard, you need to be smaller. Okay. <laughs> you haven't watched the Dead Rising series yet. I would highly encourage you to do so. <laughs> it's very fun. Okay, uh, control T, right? Yeah, control T for transform. Oh, I always forget. Uh, hold alt, train, size. There we go. Hmm. How would this look if I flipped it? Flip horizontally. I like that better. Is this all I seriously need to do? Nope, of course it's not the only thing I need to do. <laughs> it needs to get cut out, okay. Let's see. No, because it's going to... That's too much. I need a... Uh, I need a higher tolerance or a lower tolerance. I forget. Or higher. Nope. Lower tolerance. Lower tolerance. That's perfect. I expected to actually have to cut this a little bit, but not actually that bad so far. Cut that. Cut too much. Really don't want to cut too much. Actually, this is, these minor changes aren't even going to be visible. I think I need to cut out the edge there. Okay. Lizard mask acquired. You know, it occurs to me I've never actually used the remove background feature. Huh. I mean, it's probably not going to be as good as doing something manually anyways, so... 
Okay, Lizard Gang Mask, you need to change size again. Need you to stretch the... this side. I think that's right. And then I'm going to use a... That's interesting. You can see some windows in Illustrator, but you can't see other windows in Illustrator. I'm looking at the capture, and you can't see the layer style window that I have right in front of me right now. Weird. Okay. Drop shadow. Give me kind of a more intense drop shadow, will we? Okay, no, not... Not 29 pixels, but like 12 pixels. Times three spread. Oh, you can see the effect of what I'm doing. There we go. Hmm, it's gonna be too. L Maybe this is too dark. As, like, the image itself. I guess I could go... Adjustments. I want to do levels. I'm going to try to cheat with brightness and contrast first. Oh, it kind of washes it out. Ew. Okay, I'll do levels. Levels is a very fine, like, very fine control over what you're doing. All right, remind me, these are the bit zones. Want right tone. Good. Oh, high tones, high tone. That wishes thing more. I'm going to put you back up. Okay, so that's the lightest of tones. I'm gonna leave the most lightest of tones around. Take the darkest of tones and I will I'm gonna move the mid tone back. Uh, eh, I like this. This is good. Okay. Well, that was easy. You can export it now. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it's the right size. Oh, I can't export. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I need to use export as specifically, right? Okay, size 0 0.25. 0 0.125. Oh, no, it's going to round. Okay, no, fuck that. And go back to staring at the beauty of Lizard Gang. Wow, it's really cutting off a lot of Photoshop. Hold on a second. Oh, that's why it's way too large for the screen. I guess I haven't done Photoshop stuff since I added the overlay. How's this? That's a little bit nicer.
Okay. Anyways. Emotes. Switch. Open slots. The Lizard Gang. Image is not between 112 pixels and 4,000 pixels. It 100% is. Oh, I made it! <laughs> I made it too small. Oops. Right, I forgot. Okay. Right, because I made this one smaller than the... Uh... <clears throat> I made this one smaller than the uh, other one, because I did the other one in 448 and did this one in 224. So half the size. Okay, let's try this again. Lizard Gang, upload, auto resize. Sure, I'll let you auto resize this one. Okay, refresh. Why is it acting like you can use it immediately? That wouldn't make sense if you use it immediately. Yeah, no, that does not work immediately. It doesn't say pending approval, it just says it's there. Oh no, I don't have to do that, do I? Okay, no. I would add a weird prefix to things. Do I need to capitalize the first letter? Or is it just confused? I think it's just severely confused at this point. Whatever, we'll, we will be able to liz lizard gang soon enough. It might take a moment, but we will be able to do it, I promise. Okay. So as fun as this has been, we are going to put off doing the puppy treats for another day, I think. And we are going to go into Supermarket Simulator soon. First, though, first, we are going to take a quick break. For those on YouTube, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. For those on Twitch...